Good evening, traders. Welcome to the emistrade.com recap video. It is Monday night, uh, February 7th, 2011. And I hope everybody had a great weekend. It was a, a great Super Bowl if you're a football fan. It was exciting, uh, down to the wire. So uh, fun time Sunday night. And now back to the markets today. And uh, of course, the markets did not disappoint. We had a uh, overnight gap and go, as what we call in the industry, uh, where we gapped up and we didn't even give it a shot at the close in the gap today it was pretty strong buying throughout the day and uh, matter of fact let's take a look at here we talked about that 13 13 50 level last week and overnight we did test that and it rejected the uh, rejected the price and then of course in the morning when we went back up and tested again we blew right through at this time well, when we did uh, go through it, we did it with a little bit of volume, and that tells me that there were some uh, buyers involved in there. And when we came back down in the afternoon, we couldn't break it down, so uh, they're holding it pretty, uh, pretty steady right now. Uh, currently, in the Globex session, we're still trading above that at 13.50, or excuse me, 13.15. Um, so, what's that mean for tomorrow and the next couple days? Well, 13.20 now is an important level. We do have stops above that level, and if we break, if we run those stops, then we don't really have a lot until the actual 1335 to 1338 level. Uh, this is, could provide some resistance in that zone, so mark that down. So when are we looking for that 1320 to break? I will look for it to break in the morning. If we do not break it in the morning, most likely we will see some downside uh, to the possible 1310 level and then down to the 138 level or 1308 level excuse me um, I will not get short in this market or start looking short in this market until we break this trend line right here then when that could bring on some selling it's a pretty strong trend line right in this area even though it's a short-term trend line I think that's enough to um, provide a little bit of sell-off uh, after that at least down to the uh, 1297 level so watch out for that also I wanted to bring to your attention we had an ascending uh, triangle or ascending wedge however you want to look at it we did break out of that so um, you know most of the time those wedges after they break you go in one direction for a few days on top of that it's not a hard step uh, not a hard fast rule but it does happen so uh, keep your eye on that as well how do we do in the room today? Well, we had two trades. We had just a couple scalps. Scalps are not our thing, but uh, we did take a couple today. Uh, NASDAQ, we got long in the NASDAQ, scalped a few dollars off of that. And then, of course, wheat today as well. We scalped uh, a few dollars off of that as well. Nothing to write home about, uh, just a little green on it. Uh, but the most important thing this week, guys, is we do have a, a seminar, excuse me, a webinar coming up uh, on Thursday, February 10th from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's uh, What we're going to be talking about is keeping a clear head in wild markets. Uh, Lee Jones and Matt will be teaming up together in this webinar. Uh, Lee is the founder of pittrades.com, and we're talking about... Uh, keeping your head during crazy markets now when we say crazy markets it doesn't have it doesn't mean it has to be volatile these are crazy markets right now they're grinding higher there's no pullbacks it's frustrating a lot of people and psychologically that can have effect on your trading so you got to know how to keep a clear head they will be covering those topics in this webinar I will I will keep a, a link or I will add a link below this video so you can click on it and go ahead and register for free um, and uh, we look forward to, uh, to seeing you at the webinar on Thursday otherwise for tomorrow there's really no news to speak of just a few people speaking so take a look at your economic calendar to make sure you know those times otherwise tomorrow trade safe stay on the sidelines for the first 30 minutes and we'll talk to you tomorrow take care